Welcome to Crimson Tide Connection, where we visit with your favorite coaches and players. And I'm joined by Todd Bramble, the head coach of the Alabama soccer team. Coach, you're coming off a great victory this past Friday night, nine to nothing over South Alabama, a team that usually plays the tide close. You have to be pretty pleased with the performance. Yeah, uh, especially given the conditions down there, uh, the game you know looked like it could be in jeopardy all the way up until you know pregame warmups uh, because of the rain that they had gotten on the field. Um, you know, one half of the field was had some standing water on it, so it wasn't going to be easy to move the ball around. Uh, but the players did a great job of just adjusting to the conditions. The last time we played on that field, uh, two springs ago, uh, it was a one-one tie. So to okay. come out of there and um, beat them nine nothing in dominating fashion felt pretty good. Like you said, to be able to play in those conditions, how did this team score nine goals? Well, we just kept the pressure on uh, the entire game. It was only two nothing at halftime, but um, you know we got a few goals really. Um, in a two-minute span in the second half, and the floodgates just kind of opened. And uh, you know, where I credit our players in that situation is they didn't let their foot off the gas. Mm -hmm. uh, even with you know a three-nothing lead, a four-nothing lead, they didn't just uh, relax and you know start getting comfortable and uh, take anything for granted. After that, they kept pressing, kept pushing, and that really you know shows a championship mentality, which I was happy to see. You followed up that nine-goal performance <clears throat> on Friday with three goals on Sunday against Mercer, and again another shutout. Yeah, uh, and once again, controlled the, the entire game from start to finish. Um, scored early in that game as well. I think, mm -hmm. you know, that was a theme for both the South Alabama uh, and the Mercer games is within the first five or six minutes, we had already scored a goal in both of those games. And that, that helps to take the pressure off a little bit, uh, makes the other team chase the game. Uh, but, yeah, against Mercer, um, we controlled the ball, uh, turned them over very quickly, and just kept the pressure on their goal the entire game. Coach, you have some newcomers that have contributed this year. One of them is freshman Katie Bourgeois, who has had five goals on the season, or I'm sorry, six goals in only five games and a couple assists. You have to be pretty excited about her performance so far. Yeah, she scored four goals uh, on the night against South Alabama, um, so that doesn't happen very often in the mm -hmm. college game. But I think, uh, you know, she's a really intelligent young, young lady, so she's smart enough to know that the current run that she's on is, is not guaranteed to last. Mm -hmm. um, and you know her performance for us is not just based on scoring goals. There's a lot more that we ask her to do as far as holding the ball for us, defending, um, making good runs off the ball, keeping possession for us. So you know goal scoring, that's what gets all the attention. That's what mm -hmm. shows up in the stats. That's what everybody notices. But there's a lot more that we need her to do. And there'll be games where she doesn't score any goals and plays great for us. Um, so you know we're happy with her start. Now this team has scored 19 goals on the season, but on the flip side, you've only given up one goal on the season. You have, you have to be pretty pleased with that performance. Uh, I can't believe defense. we gave up that goal. That's uh, unacceptable. <laughs> uh, no, um, we, you know, that is a good stat, um, but we also are trying to you know, really take a mature approach to, to that whole picture mm -hmm. and keep our eyes focused on you know, knowing that there's teams out there that are, you know, are going to put us under a lot more pressure than we faced uh, up to this point. And we're going to concede goals. Um, you know, we're going to concede goals even if we defend well. There's going to be fluke plays. There's going to be own goals. There's going to be set pieces. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, but so far, you know, in what our defenses had to, to, to do, um, you know, we've been happy uh, with they, what, how they've responded. Well, Coach, congratulations on the hot start getting off to 5-0. and Later in the week, we'll have a preview of your matchup against Maryland. And that game will be here in Tuscaloosa. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us, Coach. And for Coach Todd Bramble, I'm Chris Freeland for Crimson Tide Connection.